to Okay, am I audible? Okay, so we will start. So, uh, tell me, in, I'm using, well, uh, I will be on a different screen, so I may not be able to see your messages. So if you are having any problem uh, with respect to voice or uh, visibility, just unmute and tell me. Uh, we'll start. Okay. Is it visible now? Unmute someone. Please unmute and tell me. So your voice is cracking. Am I audible?
okay so hopefully uh, now it will be fine and uh, we will start it's already too late so just wait okay if you are not get uh, voice or screen just uh, tell me in between i'll proceed okay so uh, we have started with our uh, second topic uh, that is the processing and welding of plastic please unmute yourself in between if you are not getting voice or screen uh, i may not be able to read your messages i am on a different screen so uh, we have started with the processing and welding of the plastic uh, very important chapter and uh, in all respect not uh, with respect to only your academic uh, with respect to another as an opportunity it is a very uh, best so uh, we have completed we have completed our uh, first part of the unit that is the processing of the plastic and in the processing of the plastics uh, plastic uh, there are so many different types of methods to process the plastic uh, depending on the application right and uh, the plastic like uh, starting from your pet bottles even you can observe uh, there are different uh, sizes shapes and colors of the pet bottles depending on that process is uh, vary Uh, plastic carry bags, uh, sealing materials, tubing, piping, okay, electronic components, so many plastic components, and depending on that, uh, processing methods are different. Second part uh, was, it is also part of processing, but uh, after once the product is manufactured, generally uh, entire assembly cannot be manufactured in a one stroke. Mostly, uh, the parts are manufactured, and then uh, these parts are assembled together. while assembling uh, there comes into picture the way of uh, welding or way of joining the uh, these uh, small parts and that was the second uh, part of the unit that is the welding of the plastic we have started with the hot gas welding uh, some uh, around 5 to 6 processes are there for joining of the plastic and uh, if uh, if i will like to summarize uh, i will tell that uh, like uh, if you compare with the metals and plastic Uh, it is quite difficult to join the metals uh, because of the uh, more density because of the more density more density in sense hardness is more and in that case uh, it is difficult to join the metals not impossible but difficult difficult in the sense more temperature requirement uh, skilled worker and the setup is required also uh, costly setup but that is not happening with case in case of plastic because of Uh, nature of the low density low density nature you can easily weld that you can easily weld that so uh, we have seen the hot gas welding see in the welding of uh, plastic welding of plastic these methods are only because of process of heating the surface okay how the surface is heated or how the substrate is uh, changed into molten condition for that process only there are different kind of welding methods process of welding is same process of welding is same only the way of melting the substrate or the material is different somewhere you are using hot plate somewhere you are using hot gas somewhere you are using a laser somewhere induction somewhere friction somewhere ultrasonic waves okay and depending on that just only what kind of what kind of setup is used to melt the material based on that there are different kinds of methods okay so uh, this classification also we have gone through we have started with the hot gas welding okay as i told hot gas is used to melt the substrate material or the filler rod okay if you see the picture easy to understand right it is as like our regular welding so there is a Uh, hot gas mostly it is inert gas is used nitrogen gas or carbon dioxide gas and filler rod is used right so hot gas in contact with the filler rod and the joint it will melt that particular filler rod and some part of substrate material and it will be filled with the that particular filler material right and joint will be closed so it is a very simple melting is done by using hot gas right that all the hot gas welding second we have gone for hot tool welding or hot plate welding okay 
and i have shown you uh, very nice videos also for hot tool welding or hot plate welding hot tool welding will some kind of uh, misleading just a minute someone is trying to be on time guys always okay so uh, in case of hot plate welding see uh, hot tool welding is some kind of misleading rather you can see uh, or you can consider this as a hot plate welding okay hot plate welding very simple structure here you will understand right okay whatever two parts you want to join you want to weld together right first of all make that part separate okay hold that parts in a two fixtures and keep some distance between that and uh, just pass or keep one heated plate hot plate in between that two uh, parts okay so what that what will happen that heated plate will uh, heat the surface of the material and they remove the plate and join the material okay join the parts by forcing that's how it is very very simple right so that was the hot tool or hot plate welding okay that parameters also we have seen uh, temperature is the most important one because if temperature is a more extra heating will happen if temperature is a less joint will not proper then melt time transition time melt depth melt force okay if less force strength of weld is less if more force if more force will be there then possibility of breaking of breakage of joint okay so optimum everything should be an optimum now we'll start with the new one that is the high frequency induction welding what i am telling from the start only see welding processes are categorized or differentiated based on source of heating the surface based on source of heating the surface some where you have now previously you have used a hot gas then after you have used a hot plate and now you are using a induction induction coil okay now this induction coil concept uh, you might be listening from your uh, first year okay in your electrical electronics uh, subject uh, then in your second year also and now also okay induction welding if i would like to tell you that uh, you are uh, when you are pressing the cloths ironing the cloths okay apan jala manat is tari banto okay that is the concept if you open that uh, iron okay if you open that there is a, a steel plate at the bottom getting there is a steel plate at the bottom at the top there is a holding fixture okay and if you open that you will find that there is a one coil coil uh, inside that uh, particular setup and when you are connecting the wire to the electrical board and when you are switching it on that coil is heated that coil is heated because of the current and that coil heated coil will transfer that heat to the steel surface which is at the bottom and then by using that heat we are pressing the cloths we are ironing the cloths okay so that's what the simple funda here induction means what put some coil around that material listen carefully put some coil around that material and Uh, pass the current through that coil when that coil will get heated because of the heating of that coil okay so heated radiations or heated waves are uh, will come out from that surface and it will heat the material which is kept uh, around surrounding the particular coil okay and then just press it it will be sealed okay so i'll read the welding process uses an induction coil okay to excite and heat the electromagnetically susceptible material okay now only here is the issue only here is the issue now see when you are winding induction coil around some material there should be conducting type material in and around okay what is happening in case of iron apan je istri mhanto apan tya tya case madhe kay hota khali steel plate aste बरबर है स्टील प्लेट आते चार मध्य कॉइल आते सो इट इज अ कंडक्टर मटेरियल बट इन केस ऑफ प्लास्टिक इट इज नॉन कंडक्टिंग मटेरियल गेटिंग इट केस ऑफ प्लास्टिक इट इज नॉन कंडक्टिंग मटेरियल सो सम काइंड ऑफ इंसर्ट्स 
some kind of inserts are required okay we require magnetic material okay so read the second in non magnetic electrical conductors like aluminium nickel or copper and alternating electrical ed current is generated it is through joule heating okay if you see third statement these currents generate thermal energy through joule heating okay if you know the joules formula then it is heated by using uh, that joules theorem okay there is a simple formula capital h is equal to i square rt capital h is equal to i square rt okay i is current r is resistance and uh, t is the time okay so that's way how it is a heated now now okay uh, just go to the uh, just uh, i'm going to the third statement unfortunately most thermoplastics are non magnetic and excellent insulators we know that because plastic itself is used as an insulator uh, for electrical boards and switches okay so it is already electrical insulator so problem will be there while heating by using induction coil okay so read the statement third statement correctly unfortunately most thermoplastics are non magnetic and excellent insulators okay now we have to use this induction welding but problem is that material that we are going to weld is non magnetic and insulator type so what we want to go for the fourth statement to take advantage of induction welding so induction heating for welding purpose implant must be used okay so that implant material will be and conductor material okay it will be a magnetic material so that it will get heated and once it will get heated automatically the surrounding surface will also get heated okay now let's see here okay if you if you are observing there is a uh, see the in the first figure there is a induction coil which is kept uh, at the side and these two components we have to join these two components we have to join and what you are observing in a blue color that is actually implant okay it is actually and implant so what is happening see if implant will not be there is implant will not be there then this induction coil will not heat that plastic component okay so first of all because of induction coil when you will pass the current through the induction coil it will heat it will heat that implant and once the implant will get heated it will melt down and it will pass through this particular passage and see the last last one figure it will be joined like this okay it will be joined like this so that's how this induction uh, feature is used for welding of the plastic component okay so there is only one issue that implant issue okay now uh, what is happening here in the induction welding in the induction welding the best advantage what i can say that very strong seals we can obtain so joint is going to be a very very strong right so as compared to other processes whatever the products you are going to get or whatever the welding joints you are going to get here these are very strong and clean joints these are very strong and clean joints so what we are calling in terms of the technical burr okay so that burr will not be there right so extra heating will not be there see controlling heat direct directly controlling the heat is quite difficult but you can control the parameter on which heat generation is depending okay so here heat generation is depending on the current you are passing through the coil and that current can be controlled easily and accordingly heat generation can be controlled easily so that in this case in case of induction welding we are getting very strong and clean joints even you can go for localized rejoining localized means whatever part you want to join only that surface you can heat okay extra heating of other surfaces will not be required or it will not happen mostly okay then again so see these are the some of the parameters on which this welding is depending okay power see because power means what as per the power capacity the welding current will flow through the induction coil and the welding current will directly proportional to the heat generated okay so if you increase the power 
more current will flow through the induction coil more heat will be generated if it is more than requirement it will heat the material which is not required also so extra surface surfaces will also get heated and apart from that in depth heating will happen see when we are joining two surfaces we are aiming to join only surfaces we are not aiming to join the internal things also i mean what uh, i want to say that if you want to join two parts you will have to join only the surfaces of the two parts so you are intending to heat that only surfaces so you are you are op your aim is that that heat should not pass inside the component it should only heat the surface right if heat will continuously pass inside the component it will uh, change the structure of the component getting okay microstructure will change so that power will control that particular localized heating second is pressure once the heating will happen once the heating will happen strength of the joint is depending on the pressure right if less pressure less strength of the joint if more pressure joint will break down okay so there should be an optimum pressure okay simply heating will not way join the two components okay heating along with the pressurization third is weld time and cooling time okay weld time and cooling time means time for which welding is occurring or time for which heating is occurring and cooling time means time for which cooling is occurring okay cooling is carried out okay so now see welding time already i told you if you keep it more if welding time is very very high what is happening heat will pass inside the components inside the surface which will disturb the structure of the component and we are intending to heat only our surfaces and not the inside part so that is required to control and second cooling time now listen carefully see you are uh, you are learning about this cooling uh, time in your metallurgy also okay i think uh, i don't know is it, it will be there in your third year or it might be there. uh in semester 1 i think you have studied that metallurgy so there is a cooling time parameter okay in annealing normalizing hardening these processes are defined up based on this cooling time because based on the cooling time the structure generates if you will cool it very fastly if heated material will cool it very very fastly then fine grain structure is created fine grain and if it is cooled slowly then coarse grain structure is created okay and based on the structure the properties right so if you want the proper strength in the welding joint the cooling time should be proper it should not be so fast it should not be so slow and then joint design okay see we are going to wind that coil around the product okay and we are going to insert that uh, magnetic material inside the component so joint design will matters here okay joint design will matter so if joint design is too complicated so that we are not able to insert that implant then it is difficult to have the proper welding okay so joint design is also uh, matters here see now this type of sealings are uh, done by using this induction welding okay the basic advantage of induction welding if you see here also i will tell you you can observe here there is no any direct contact between tool and product heating tool or heating surface and product there is no any direct contact okay so that is the basic advantage of using this particular method okay so this kind of sealings mostly food products where where this non contacting is non contact requirement is there okay minimum contact or non contact or minimum contact so there this induction welding is preferred okay so sealing of these seals you have seen uh, the caps of the syrups okay medical madhe tumhala je he manto aushat or syrup you can call it as syrup syrup che je cap asta okay the uh, cap to me when you are opening it okay if we will find that it is not joint it is not joint uh, 
uh, if you see the joints the joining is not at all the surfaces okay tin te char tikari fakta te joint kele asto okay this is done by using induction heating okay induction heating right so this kind of joints you can observe for uh, any types of cold drink bottle also right so this cap joining okay this cap welding is done by this induction welding method okay so sealing is the most important application right so some kind of advantages like implant induction welding does not require physical contact most important one as i told okay so that it is preferred for the uh, welding of uh, plastics where uh, food atoms are there okay second induction coil can be moved continuously right okay so you just move the induction coil which is not in contact with the product accordingly you will get the different surfaces right if you want to heat different surfaces you just move the coil accordingly localizer heating you will get third heat generation is limited to exact area that's what i am telling localized heating if you want to heat only that particular area keep that coil just close to that area and only that much area will be heated the joint can be if you want to reopen it you just heat it again it will melt down and you can reopen it cycle time is short obviously if your power is more then welding will be a very fast and cooling will be also you can go for uh, fastly so that cycle time is uh, very very less see where there are uh, if there is no any physical contact mostly the processes are carried out in a short period okay when there is a physical contact then physical contact and as well as uh, more movements that time cycle time is generally high right so these are the advantages first disadvantage implant okay because to heat that material we are using implant so possibility is that that implant can change the properties of material okay so every time you will have to use that implant right then custom tooling may also be required see you cannot use the same induction coil for all kind of products if the design is too complicated and if you want to heat the internal parts of the product that time you need a different types of types of coil okay so depends on the designing heating is limited to the by the penetration depth of the electromagnetic field care must be taken to avoid uneven heating in complex joint designs okay this is also an issue okay see you can control the temperature you can control the temperature but that electromagnetic waves which are created out of the induction coil it can pass it to the more depth also that depth control is a uh, one of the issue implant material at the joint can have impact on the strength yes that is possible as i told it will have a, a side effect on the properties of the joint and obviously it will uh, come to the strength of the joint right because in in not, not there is no no in is any another single process where we are using the different material implant here is the only one this, this is the process where we are using the implant electromagnetic field may affect metallic or electronic components of the part okay see if you want to join uh, like electronic products electronic products right there are some resistors capacitors right so heating may cause the side effect for that delicate components in toys uh, like another products like ceilings there are uh, simple products okay simple type of products are there where it will not cause any effect but where there is the electronic parts which are going to function afterwards like as i told resistors or capacitors so if you are joining some uh, parts close to that uh, capacitors or resistors heating may cause the dysfunctioning of that particular capacitor or resistor okay so that is the one of the problem so this is what the induction welding a very simple concept that heat is generated by using induction coil only thing is that here you required here you required implant okay and one of the most important part you have to keep it in mind strong and clean joints are expected from this induction welding now let's see the second uh, next one which is a laser welding at the time 1136 okay laser welding now again the source of generation of heat is different 
in the last case we have used the induction coil here we are using the laser okay so what is happening here either co2 laser or diode laser or fiber lasers are used and that lasers are passed around the joint lasers are nothing but the radiations and any kind of radiation when it is falling on any surface three things are happening any kind of radiation when it is falling on any surface it may be heat radiation it may be a laser radiation it may be ultrasonic radiations anything whenever it is uh, impacting whenever it is impacting on a surface three things are happening which are explained here okay once it is incident it will incident on the surface one of the thing i have missed here one is reflection second is transmission and third if you can recall it is absorption getting any rays when it is falling on the surface three reactions are possible or three responses are possible reflection transmission and absorption right now it depends on the surface of the material it depends on the type of the material that how much energy can be absorbed see now out of these three responses reflection transmission absorption the heat generation is possible and most of the heat generation is getting out of absorption right reflected rays some sort of energy is absorbed while it is reflecting transmitted rays while it is transmitting from the material it is impacting or it is having the friction with the components sorry mm, what we can atoms atoms of the product that time some kind of heat is generated but most of the heat is generated out of the absorption okay so heat generation totally depends upon the material properties the material which is absorbing more radiation can generate a more heat okay so like this right simply simple simple thing when laser beam is focused on the material or the joining surface right out of the three reaction absorption transmission and reflection heat is generated mostly 80% heat is generated from the absorption okay and that heat generated will melt the material or will heat the surfaces surfaces which we want to join and by pressuring by pressurizing we can join these two components okay see this is how it is happening again it is a non contact type again it is a non contact type right so laser can laser rays can reflect absorb or transmit from this particular component more is the absorption more will be the heat generation so because of the heat generation here because of the heat generation here this weld joint is possible okay here also it is given now different types of joint the advantage is here that you just see this is a seam welding this is a butt welding and this is a uh, circular welding rotational welding okay two components cylindrical components you want to join then just pass the laser beam and just rotate that components you will get this uh, cylindrical joining also or rotational joining okay so either this way the two surfaces or this way principle is the same principle is the same heat is generated out of absorption some part from reflection and some part from transmission okay so uh, these are the some of the factors high quality now see what is happening here if you compare induction welding and laser welding where is more focus can be obtained see see if you want more focused area if you want the more focused area then laser beam is helpful because you see the thickness of the laser beam it is in a micron right so more focus can be obtained and more focus means more localized heating so that extra heating will not be there burr will not be there so clean joint can be expected from this uh, laser welding okay so that there is the first one high quality and reproducible the weld seams are of consistently high quality why it is consistently high quality because of the laser beam intensity of laser beam is going to be a constant but that is not happening in case of induction coil right once the heat is generated depending on the surface depending on the distance of surface 
from the coil are you getting my point depending on the distance of surface from the coil the heating is happening the surface which is close to induction coil more heating surface which is away from the induction coil less heating so more heating less heating will cause into distortion that is not happening in case of laser welding where the focus area localized area where you want the joint there you can focus the laser beam okay and uh, we know you know the capacity of the laser beam very fastly it will hit that particular localized uh, surface okay so that we are getting high quality joints second is a flexible see because of very less thickness of laser beam you can pass it to any type of opening you can pass it to any kind of surface it is a very if it is a very complicated shapes there also laser beam can act right so that we are getting the flexibility with respect to geometries then third is residue free residue free okay residue free why it is residue free no adhesives no flex no burr getting because of localized heating this is possible no any implants we are using okay no any extra heating so that we get the residue free joints gentle the heat input is restricted locally and is gentle on a delicate electronics okay see if i will take the example of electronic products okay you know there are uh, what we call uh, mcbs or ic's if you see the uh, back side of your television set or computer or your mobile uh, there are simple plates are there and on which okay so that joining is possible by using laser welding why if you see the thickness of joint in electronic components it is very very less there you cannot go for the extra heating more surface heating by using the induction coil by using another process but laser can directly focus on that localized part that small part that intricate part okay and only that much part can be heated and only that much joining is possible so that whenever capacitors resistors are joined on that particular plate okay uh, we can call it as uh, we are calling it as motherboard right so this is possible by using the laser welding okay so these are some of the advantage of laser welding right so uh, mostly advanced uh, wherever there is a delicate parts this laser welding is preferred right concept is simple heat the material by using the laser ray sorry laser radiation right three things will happen transmission reflection absorption most of the heat generation will possible with the absorption okay again heat generated varies from material to material some material will reflect more rays in that case heat generation is less some material will absorb more rays in that in this case heat generation will be more okay so depending on the material this laser uh, welding is preferred the next one is infrared see why i am going fast it's a, this is similar now what is happening here only source is change in the previous case we have used laser here we are using the infrared only uh, that process is same heating is happening here with uh, by using the infrared rays infrared rays right <coughs> now what you required only you required infrared source only you required infrared source and the rest of the process is same as like of the laser beam infrared source will emit infrared radiation same thing will happen here some radiation will be absorbed some will be reflected some will be transmitted right so based on that heat generation is possible i think yeah here is the picture okay see this uh, let it be the names are not visible see there is a two parts are there which i have kept uh, aside and in between that there is infrared source there is a infra this red uh, part is infrared source okay infrared gun and when uh, power supply is given to the infrared uh, source it will get heated and radiations infrared radiations will come out of that surface and will fall on the component surface will fall on the component surface which will melt down okay which will melt down and just pressurize it it will be joined together it will be joined together okay similar as kind of uh, laser beam only here also contact is not required 
uh, you can consider this as like uh, hot plate welding hot plate welding what is what was happening in case of hot plate welding only in case of hot plate welding we are keeping the surfaces is contact with the plate here that contact is not required right if you, you want to just keep that infrared source close to the surface it will emit infrared rays which are reflected absorbed transmitted from the surface and based on this ratio ratio of the reflection transmission absorption heat is generated then pressurize that to surfaces and welding is possible okay now some factors are there some factors are there the first one is rate at which material absorbs the infrared rays okay that's how what i told okay it is characterized by three properties absorptivity transmittivity reflectivity okay so these three factors are very very important for the generation of the heat okay and these factors are depending on what second statement these material properties are affected by type color fillers and other factors okay so nature of the material type of the material type of the surface you know that if there is a very plain surface if there is a very plain surface absorption will be more reflection will be less if there is a uh, like uh, what we can coarse types uh, surface it is not a fine surface it is coarse type surface okay peaks and valleys are there more reflections will happen okay even the surface nature also uh, varies Uh, this reflection and absorptivity even color you know that if surface is a black black surface is a good for absorption getting you know that because you are learnt in a uh, thermal sorry hmt or thermal analysis if there is a black surface it is absorbing more rays right so surface color sur surface texture is also important as far as this absorptivity transmittivity and reflectivity is considered okay additionally the emissivity of the infrared emitter is also important right and emissivity means what ability to emit the radiation more is the emissivity emissivity more is the heat generation obviously it is not depending only on that factor once the rays are emitted then how the surface responds response with respect to absorptivity transmittivity and reflectivity okay that is also important factor the density of infrared light as it reaches the surface being heated affects the rate of heating this density is affected by the distance between emitter and the heated surface right okay now what is happening as i told similar as in case of the uh, plate also if surface distance is distance between the surface and infrared source is a more the intensity of the rays goes down till it will reach to the surface till it will reach to the surface okay you can see see these linings these arrows are uh, given here from the infrared source to the surface if the, there is a too much difference between the source and the surfaces the intensity of the rays will goes down and there is a less generation of the heat if surfaces are very very close to the infrared source heat overheating is possible what is overheating is possible and then we know that overheating is a not good for the joining overheating will melt down more substrate material that heating will reach inside the component okay the heat will be transferred inside the component which can affect the properties of the component okay so distance should be optimum now advantage ability to weld complex 2d and 3d part geometries because infrared rays uh, it can pass easily in the intricate shapes also welding material acceptable thermoplastic pvc polypropylene okay see let it be any kind of material what we are expecting only that rays should fall on surface there is no restriction for the material okay so that we can have variety of material getting it okay see this implant or the kind of material is not important only the color or the surface is important getting it okay because anyhow let it be any material if rays will fall on the material surfaces it is going to heat okay low electrical consumption fast temperature ramp up electrically insulated low leakage current low maintenance required non contact welding process plastification of complex strong welds 
spermatic seed. See, now what is happening, wherever source is not in contact with surface, these advantages are possible. What is, if not in contact with the surface, less stress generation. Because of the less stress generation, less distortion is possible. Okay? Now, if there are mechanical parts, if there are mechanical parts, like in case of which is happening, uh, hot plate welding, movement of that plate, hydraulic uh, machines are required for the movement, like, okay, if there are less mechanical parts, obviously maintenance is going to be a very less, okay. Now, these are the advantages and see, in case of infrared, in case of laser, in case of uh, ultrasonic also, heat generation is a very, very, sorry, induction, induction, infrared and laser. These are electrically based buildings where power can be managed easily, controlled easily, so that heat degeneration is possible very fastly. Right? So that uh, fast temperature ramp up is possible. That is what the meaning. Okay, this kind of shift. Now, look here. Here, infrared is uh, preferred in case of electronics component. Right? And uh, bumpers, lamps, dashboards or uh, ceilings required in case of medical components ceiling required in case of medical components this infrared uh, heating is preferred infrared heating is preferred okay these are the applications okay i think time is there. so uh, still we are having two different processes one is a friction welding and another is I think ultrasonic welding. Only two are uh, remaining. So uh, it will be too much to cover today. So it, it will confine it uh, here only. So, so what we saw today, uh, the last one was infrared welding. Very strong and hermetic seal is possible. Fast heat generation is possible. Surface is not coming into contact with the source. So stress generation will not be there. Less distortion irrespective of the material material is not important rather surface of the material is important okay heat is generated out of three parameters absorptivity transmittivity reflectivity same thing is happening in case of laser welding also okay localized heating is possible no extra heating is happening so that less burr is there strong and clean strong and clean joints are possible by using the laser welding okay it again depends on the absorptivity reflectivity and transmittivity of the rays rays okay and then induction welding very simple an induction coil is caved around the surface to be heated but only one issue that you want conductor or magnetic material so that plastic is neither conductor nor magnetic material so that here you require some implants some coils which will get heated or which will respond to the induction coil right so that there is only one issue with this induction building is this one getting okay so that's what the induction welding see uh, any kind of welding mostly these parameters are important temperature melting time sealing time or cooling time melt force or weld force okay so if i want to summarize see parameters first of all temperature time of welding time of cooling okay sealing pressure welding pressure okay only these parameters and depth depth of welding okay depth of welding again depth is depend on the time only if you keep that welding gun for more time at one place depth is going to be more heating is going to be more okay so it will go inside the surface also so temperature time for both melting and cooling and then force okay so these are the important parameters which are required for any kind of welding if you want to write in the exam you can write down in this uh, summarized parameters right so that's what for today just a minute cc here these are the parameters okay temperature pressure speed and then position or uh, position of uh, source of heat okay 
so uh, almost we have gone through hot gas welding heating with the help of gas hot tool welding heating with the help of plate high frequency induction welding heating uh, by using induction laser welding heating by using lasers infrared welding heating by using infrared rays okay only two are remaining ultrasonic welding and friction welding so possibly if i'll get one more lecture in the afternoon we'll complete that or by tomorrow right so uh, that's what for today just a minute stop sharing okay and now do one thing uh very chart box right uh, so uh, just put up your roll numbers in a chart box and then you can uh, leave the session by the way i have updated uh, video lectures ppts uh, on the link which uh, you received from the pukare sir okay you can uh, refer the video lectures and uh, the ppts there also uh, for your isc purpose okay possibly if we if you will be able to complete the third unit then we'll have three three units for the first isc most probably otherwise we'll go with the two okay so but mostly we'll have the three units time being by tomorrow or day after tomorrow i will share some mcqs also